Byron Cage's song, The Presence of the Lord is Here. I love that song because it celebrates the presence of God. Because everywhere the presence of God goes, something happens. And that's the subject. My text is Exodus chapter 40, verse 34. Then the cloud covered the tent of meeting, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. God still fills tab tab tabernacles today. However, we are now the temple, the tabernacle of God. And the ark of God which rests in the temple is now in our hearts. They represent the presence of God. The ark was sacred, built exactly how God wanted it to be built. It was made of pure gold, and they kept it in the inner holy part of the temple, separated from everything else by a veil. Only the priests could go back there. And even if they went back there once a year, they had to be totally pure of sin, otherwise they would fall dead instantly. There was a special way they had to carry the ark. And the Israelites took the ark everywhere they went, carrying it ahead of them to lead them. Everywhere the ark of the covenant went, something happened. Everywhere the presence of God goes, something happened. Amen. So are you carrying the presence of God everywhere you go? Well, how do I do that? I'm going to tell you. First, you have to get into the presence of God. The only priest who's going to the ark of the, of the covenant. First Peter 2, 5 says we are a royal priesthood. But that we are first a Christian. So if you're not saved, you gotta get saved first. When Jesus died, the veil that separated the temple from the Holy of Holies split in half, representing the fact that Jesus became the veil, the way to get to the presence of God. Also, you enter his presence with worship. In his gates with thanksgiving, and his course with praise. Psalm 100, verse 4. You have to be walking in obedience. A few verses back from my text, it said, Moses did everything just as the Lord commanded him. Had he not been obedient, it wouldn't have gone down like that. See, when God's presence steps in, it's how you know it's here because things have to change when God's presence comes around. Zachariah went to God's presence having a beard and wife, and he came out with the sun on the way. Mm. The presence of God rested in Obed Edom's house for three months. His family was exceedingly blessed. Why? Because everywhere the presence of God goes, something happens. Mm -hmm. So, whatever you have to get into the presence of God, you take it everywhere. There should be things about you that change in such a way that it's evident that the presence of God is in your life. Your actions, your words, your attitude, and the love you have for one another. That's why Jesus said you know each other, by the love you have for each other. And see, you have to take the presence of God everywhere you go, all the time. You can't be a priest today and a heathen tomorrow, or a priest over here and a heathen over there. Priests are priests for life. Levites had that call in life. Your Levite, your priest, that's what you're going to do, because God said so. Even when it gets hard, it gets hard to carry the ark because it's heavy, and you're getting into rough territory. You still have to carry it. Paul and Silas were whipped profusely, and then put in prison and chained in the stocks. Yet they still have the presence of God on them, and they still celebrated the presence of God. And as a result, the prison doors flew open, and the stocks were released. So when God, you have the presence of God in your situation where you're struggling, or you're having a hard time, if you can still praise God and carry his presence on, those things that hold you bound in chains have to release you. Mm -hmm. John carried the presence of God right into the pot where they boiled him in hot grease and down to the Isle of Patmos. He still carried the presence of God, and as a result, he wrote the book of Revelation. Why? Because everywhere the presence of God goes, something happens. Right. <laughs> and see, so once you carry the presence of God, you can't just carry it. You have to let it lead you. The purpose of the presence of God is to lead you and to protect you. When you let the presence of God lead you into battle, you'll be victorious. Israel went into battle with the presence of God going before them, and every time they were victorious. When they left Egypt, the presence of God went before them as a cloud and as a pillar of fire to lead them out of bondage. When Israel marched around the walls of Jericho, falling behind the presence of God, the walls fell. When you follow the presence of God in your life, the walls that have built up around the land that God has promised you must fall. Why? Because the, the presence, presence of God, God is, is everywhere. everywhere. Thank you. So what happens when you carry the presence of God in your life? Things begin to happen in your life. Things begin to change. Are you carrying the presence of God? Get into the presence of God. Take it with you and don't let it go. Thank you. Yes. Yes.